I'm so embarrassed to say this, but uh, I'm going to have to take my car in to get the brakes fixed. I could not get the caliper piston to retract, and so I put the old pads back on, which is the only one that would fit. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. I was going to put a paper bag on my head when I said that, but I couldn't find a paper bag, so I just said it without it. But yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. I couldn't get this job finished myself. Can't get the new pads on, but I'm getting the new rotor on and then um, just the old pads and then just driving to the shop, which is a few miles away. Going to have them swap out the fluid for me because I wasn't doing that anyways at this time because it was a little too much work for just one person. Uh, so, all right, that's where I'm at. I'm going to get everything back together. I'm going to show you exactly what I did to get these uh, wheel locks off because I have to get the two fronts off now so the shop can work on it for me. Okay, so I figured out what I was doing wrong with these brakes, so I'm most likely going to be able to finish this now. Um, online, I always reach out for help in the forums and on Facebook, and uh, everyone was saying that there was like a rubber cap, which actually I can show you. So everyone was saying, which I thought they were talking about was this, which you take off and they use an Allen key on this, which it's not even really an Allen key, so I knew that that wasn't the right piece but I couldn't figure out um, which piece they're talking about. So I uh, unscrewed this and then brake fluid started to come out so I tightened that up. And yes, I'm gonna have to have the fluid changed. I know that air is in the line. Um, so I watched a video and somebody was like using the Allen key on the top here. So what I didn't realize was mine, and I guess they're not all like this, but um, there was a bolt, just like the one above that hole there, and I took that out and then used the Allen key inside of here and the caliper. It's hard to really tell, but it was out a lot further than this. So now it's retracted somewhat, and now I'm going to see if I can get the new pads in there with the new rotors. But um, just got the old rotor off, and uh, hopefully I can finish this tonight. I'm holding it in place because uh, it just pops off if you let go, but um, on the top and the bottom you have to feed these little spacers on there, and then uh, this little spring here fits on there. Alright, so I'm back on the other side that I was really working on the other day, um, and the piston retracted. Um, so I don't know if it's just like, I have a 95 model, I don't know if the earlier models didn't have this um, bolt, but um, it is up here. Alright, I've got it all officially put back together, drove around the block, felt really good. Just got to get some lugs. Alright guys, thank you for watching this last video. Um, I've ordered frame rails for the Miata. I'm going to be adding those. Everyone says for the price it's totally worth it and it like makes a huge difference. It makes the car feel uh, less like a 95 model um, and um, just a lot more stable. So uh, that's probably going to be a big job um, for not having like a lift but uh, I mean whatever. This is what I've got and uh, yeah I have to get my other wheel, uh, the wheel locks off and then uh, buy some new lug nuts and then that'll be totally done. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but um, I just didn't realize where this stuff was. So, If you guys have any questions on changing out your rotors or brake pads, let me know. Unfortunately, I don't know much about like changing out the fluid. It seems like a more difficult job, um, especially with one person. So, Alright, see you in the next video.